Okay, this is problem 5.7.59, and we're asked to factor. <coughs> and we have 15dq minus 100q squared plus the d squared. And so first thing is, this is a trinomial, and so anytime we're factoring a trinomial, we want to write it in descending order and factor out any greatest common factors, if there are any, and then... Um, use the trial and error process or the AC method to factor it. Okay, so writing this in descending order, because we have two terms that have squares, we actually want those to be on the ends, and we want the dq to be in the middle. And that will take into account what needs to happen with the variables to get this to factor. Okay, so the way that I'm rewriting it, basically I'm rewriting it in descending order with reference to d. And you could do that the other way around, write it in descending order with reference to Q, um, but because that sign is negative there, I've decided to do this here. Okay. All right, and then what we're going to do, um, there is no greatest common factor here, so I'm going to just go straight to trial and error. We know that we need to have a D and a D in the first position to take care of the D squared. The Q squared, we're going to need to have a Q and a Q in the last position to take care of the Q squared. And notice that the outside and the inside will give us a dq, so that middle dq is taken care of by how we've placed the, the variables. And now what we need to do is we need to figure out what numbers we're going to place um, so that uh, what numbers are factors of 100 that we're going to place in such a way that we can get the 15. Okay, so what we really need to do is do a factor list for 100. So the factor list for 100, we have 1 times 100. 2 times 50, <clears throat> um, 4 times 25, and 5 times 20. And I'm seeing this. This is probably what we're going to want to use. Okay, so if I put the 20 here and the 5 there, then you can see an outside of 20 dq and an inside of 5 dq. Now the reason I picked that one is because I saw that I needed a 15 in the middle there and if I make the 20 positive and the 5 negative that will give me a positive 15. Okay, And then we need to check the last portion of FOIL to make sure that this works. Negative 5q times positive 20 does give me the negative 100. Okay, So that is a correct factorization for this. Um, I do want to point out that when the coefficient is something other than a 1 out here, you can't just look at the list and see what's going to work. You actually have to um, pick some values, plug them in, because when you have numbers in these positions, these first positions here, it'll amplify these numbers and it'll change what's happening in the middle. Okay, so, and I've got a bunch of videos posted like that here on the YouTube site. So that's it for this problem.